These are the important slab you must run on your household, nanny, or any close relation that wish to live with you in your family. I am motivated to give this health talk because of the, inc the ugly incident that happened in my clinic some days ago. And this incident has been happening and I would not want you to be a victim of this. Please, I would like to use broken language, pidgin language, English language, so that everybody will be um, part of what I want to teach. I don't want anyone to be left out in my teaching. So, as I did talk, some days ago, a baby of nine months was brought into my hospital with the diagnosis of diarrhea and vomiting. This baby, they sue. They pass frequent too. So when they bring this baby, I, we were just thinking on that it was normal um, diarrhea now. So after like two, three days, this diarrhea can't continue. Instead of the baby, go, they get better. The baby keep getting worse. So on a second thought, we can't say more could do this baby general lab. So we can't do this baby general lab. Now, now right we see, we can't discover, say, this little baby of nine months gets HIV and AIDS virus. The thing can't shock me. Our doctor can't say, Mok, we invite the, the mother, the father for lab, for the same lab. We can't do the mother, the father, the lab. The mother, they negative. The father, they negative. I can't say no. More make them bring the remaining siblings because this woman, a banker, she know they get time. She's always busy. She's a career woman. And I know say we need all these house help and nannies to help us. You get? So they can't invite their little children because the woman has three children she gets. They can't invite their remaining two children. We can't check them. These little children, they negative. Uh-uh. So, it didn't come raise suspicion because as a professional, I know say HIV is not spiritual. At all, at all, it's not spiritual. And you know they fly. So, I can't ask this woman, say, Madam, you get nanny or house help. The woman can't say yes. Say she gets nanny. Where they can't help her hold her bikini if she go work. I can't say, okay, can you invite the nanny to me? She now invites the nanny. Both Umu boy, that is other members of the family. We can't check all of them. All of them, they negative. But the nanny was positive. I can't begin to ask the nanny. Say, nanny, mm, you get, you, you know, say you get this HIV. The nanny says she no get. Say she no no. And honestly, she was innocent. She no no. So, I can't ask her, say, how you think they carry this baby if a mama go walk? Because this baby looks very, very handsome. The baby is a handsome baby, chubby and attractive. The house, the nanny can't tell me, say, if her mama go house help, go work, say, uh, if the pekin they cry, if they cuddle the pipi, be the pekin, the baby, and sometimes if they kiss the baby, and say, sometimes if they give the baby a camel pap, say, if the, if the pap they hurt, she they you know how women how mothers take they do now she they leave the spoon of pap for her mouth before she go feed the baby so you can see how innocently this nanny infected this innocent baby of nine months with this virus called hiv the nanny no not say she get them and say this innocent boy as for the nanny, she can be taking drugs. She will live a normal life. But consider that little baby of nine months. How would that little baby be taking drugs? How? How would that little baby be taking antiretroviral drugs? So, my dear fans, honestly, I am pained. And the mother of those child is a good woman. She asked me to, 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 to give this health talk so that what didn't happen to her, no go happen to even her enemy. To God be the glory, so no send only one picking. No only that picking then get them. And this baby see the salt. So we told the woman to come back for um 
because she might be in her window period we don't know we ask her to come back in six months time three to six months time to check to repeat this lab to be sure says she no get her the one way happened last year november precisely this one be say innocently mother no get them father no get them but two children don't get this virus don't get them and i seem house help then carry and come so please i want to beg my dear fans i beg i beg as a professional nurse what i do in my family is once i'm bringing a nanny to my house or as august break is uh, encroaching is approaching if you want to come and spend the whole days in my house, my, 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 my family know this. If you want to come and spend all day with my children, the first thing I will do to you, or if I'm getting a house help, the first thing I will do is to do you a, 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 a HIV test, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. After doing this three lab and that person is negative, the next thing I will do is to pray for you before bringing you into my family. So please, my dear fans, I am begging you, before you bring a house help, close relation or nanny that will take care of you and your family. I beg you with God, do this test when I mention. RVS test, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. Because that thing, you know they show for face. Please. I want something for the last time, I beg. If you get house help now, you never do them. Go and do them. This lab are so cheap. They are not expensive. Please do it for the safety of you and your family. Because seeing you and your family smiling gladdens my soul. None of you will know sorrow in the name of Jesus. Please do me well by liking and sharing this video. Share this video as much as you can. If you can share it more than to, to even virus platforms. To virus WhatsApp platform, a platform, please share it. Share this video so that nobody will be a victim of this ugly incident. I remain Vicky, your favorite nurse midwife. Bye for now. My country people, things are really happening in this life. You know, health, they say that it is wealth. Imagine, I feel for this little child, honestly, how will this young child be able to cope? Imagine the parents... How are them going to cope? And the fact is that the nanny didn't do this, you know. She didn't just do that. She was not aware that she is a HIV positive and S positive until when she was called and uh, a test was and the test was conducted on her. That was how she found out that she's now um, a HIV and S positive person. You get it. Now, let us pray for this little child of nine months. Ah, very, not even a child of five years. This is just nine months. Let us be careful about people we, we you know, we allow around our kids. It is very, very important. Someone that is HIV positive, once they even eat something, imagine, this is not blood, though. this is saliva. For some of you that say that, no, it doesn't transfer through kissing this, it does, though. Imagine how this little child contacted this HIV and AIDS. It just by the nanny was just the nanny was the nanny was just drinking pap, you know. Was why giving pap to the young child? Well, the only thing that the nanny did was why giving giving pap to the child. You know how mothers now if you want to give your child pap, you just have to test it a little to know if it is hot. If it is hot, you have to blow it blow away the hotness so that the child can be able to uh, to swallow the pap. You get it. That is it. But now imagine in this case, the child just contacted HIV just like that. We just have to be careful about people we are we allow around our kids. Imagine how this woman is what this woman is passing through. The lady, the the father of the child, the siblings as well. Honestly, it is it hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. Child, I feel for the parents of this little child. I am so sorry for all this they are passing through. May God Almighty give them the fortitude to bear this kind of pain. Because this pain, I don't know. Imagine what the young child will be passing through. A child of nine months. Guys, please take this advice from this lovely doctor. She decided to share this advice to the general public so that we can learn and be mindful of tomorrow, of people we, are, we allow around our children to be forewarned, to be forearmed. Let us learn from this mistake and let us not be a victim of this kind of mistake. May God help us 
about people. May God help us and help us. That is all our prayer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Love you guys.